For this example, we'll be looking at measuring the voltage across a resistor using an analog voltmeter instead of a digital multimeter. A simple circuit consisting of a light bulb and a rheostat is used in this example. A rheostat is a variable resistor. For this example, the rheostat's resistance can be adjusted by moving the slider at the top. As the bulb and the rheostat are in series, adjusting the rheostat's resistance alters the bulb's brightness. When connecting the voltmeter, one lead should always be connected to the negative terminal, while the other lead must be connected to one of the three positive terminals. The choice of which terminal to use depends on the required range of measurement. The three scales displayed on the voltmeter correspond to the three positive terminals, 3 volts, 15 volts, and 300 volts. When reading the voltmeter, ensure that the correct scale is read. The bottom scale has a range of minus 1 volt to 3 volts and is used when the lead is plugged into the 3 volt terminal. The middle scale has a range of minus 5 volts to 15 volts and is used when the lead is plugged into the 15 volt terminal. Finally, the top scale has a range of minus 100 volts to 300 volts and is used when the lead is plugged into the 300 volt terminal. The voltmeter should always be connected in parallel to the resistor to be measured. In this example, the source has a voltage between 3 and 15 volts, so we're going to use the middle positive terminal. Unlike the multimeter, the analog voltmeter's positive and negative ranges are not the same, so you may need to switch the leads around if you're getting a negative reading. Changing the resistance of the rheostat changes the voltage measured by the voltmeter.